basically amputate the entire amputate the whole booty. The whole booty. Amputate the booty. I have big booty problems. I went through six rounds of illegal butt injections. If you knew they were illegal, why did you do it? Let's hear. Leaving me with 60 inches of booty. And my butt went viral. I really think people love me, but they don't know how to say it. <laughs> okay, so illegal injections probably screams silicone or something that shouldn't be injected into the butt. And why is her butt all red and lumpy like that? Your skin can turn black and dead and fall off. That's called tissue necrosis. So you can have vascular blood supply issues with these illegal injections that can literally lead you disfigured for the rest of your life and there is nothing that you can do to fix it. When I was in college, I got a job dancing at a club. The first night that I was a dancer, after really not making no money on the stage, there was a dancer that walked up to me and she told me that I needed some more booty if I wanted to make some money. That's when I found out about the injections that gave me my big booty problems. So I made the appointment. She showed up at my hotel room. She told me she worked for a cosmetic surgeon and that's how she was able to get her hands on what she needed. I asked the injector, why was she doing it outside of the office? As soon as you say the word to yourself out loud, I'm meeting someone in a hotel room to get my butt injected, there is nothing about that that sounds safe and I don't understand why you guys proceed to do this. It's not going to end well. Come on. I asked the injector, why was she doing it outside of the office? Good and question. that's when she told me that the procedure is illegal. And it's foolish, definitely it is foolish. But all I wanted was a big booty. So after a year or so, and my third round of shots, you know. Third round, like after the first round, why did you go back? I know you wanted a butt, but listen, it could kill you. Y'all, this episode is just making me mad. I wanted more, and my fourth round is when all the problems started. This time, I showed up at her house to receive my injections. And after leaving her house, my butt injections began to leak out of my butt. We got pulled over. The police officer saw the butt injections, like, leaking, and he was asking me, like, what is that leaking from your butt? <laughs> It's called leaky butt syndrome. <laughs> Come on, girl. Sad. This is sad. This makes me really sad. I was like so embarrassed, but after the injections leaked out, my butt just like had so many dimples. And I called the lady who injected me immediately. So she told me that probably could be fixed with a few more shots. That is how round number five. Round five, here we go. It's not enough <laughs> that you have leaky butt now, which is probably silicone, illegal silicone oozing out of your butt. And by the way, the reason it's lumpy and bumpy is number one, because you're having illegal silicone injected into your butt, I presume. Number two, the person doesn't know what they're doing. And number three, whenever the body senses something foreign in it, it tries to wall off that material and they become big hard knots called granulomas. And so she's getting silicone granulomas where the body is trying to wall it off. And Actually, what your body will start to do is it'll start to push them towards the skin, trying to literally eject the silicone out of your body because it knows that it's not supposed to be there. So you know what? Let's do round five and maybe they'll even be around six. Who knows? That round of injections, oh. it seemed like it only made my butt bigger. She did not oh. fill in. So here's the issue here. This girl has too much laxity of the skin. So when we're talking about butt lifts, the quote Brazilian butt lift where we transfer fat into the butt. Sometimes if you have a loose skin envelope, you also need to do what we call a lift and fill where we take out skin in the lower back to lift the butt and then we fill it. And by the way, the most recent data for BBLs is that the death rate is one in 15,000, which is less of a chance than dying from a tummy tuck, which is one in 14,000. So all that data, while any surgery is a dangerous procedure to do, we have now shown that that procedure are done by the right people and collecting the right amount of data and analyzing it that the actual risk of dying from a BBL is less than that of a tummy tuck especially when you go to a very very well-established surgeon who knows what they're doing she did not fill in the holes 
Then number six happened. It made it a bit worse. It was nothing I could do to fix my butt. After six rounds of butt injections, I believe I spent about seven or eight thousand dollars to get me. Here's the thing. Y'all do this stuff to try to save money. I get it, plastic surgery is expensive, but you will end up sp paying two, three, four, sometimes five times more money fixing going to do something like this versus just spending the right amount of money to do it safe with the right surgeon up front. Sad. I decided to take social media serious for myself. I was able to write my book to share my experiences. The world wants to know about this booty. And I'm hoping that Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debro could help me get rid of the access baggage. I did not want these problems. I just wanted a big, nice booty. I swear, you gotta try to avoid that stuff. Like, you guys bring some of these problems onto yourself by making these poor decisions. That's not to say that there are board certified plastic surgeons that don't botch people, but your chances are much less than some random person in a hotel room doing it. For those of you all who are just tuning in, you are tuned into Big Booty Problems Podcast. Yes. And we are talking about how I am the trending topic this week. Well, this booty is the trending topic this week. Me and my booty, we're two different people. I hope people know that. I, I don't think they know that. <laughs> I don't think they know that. How do you feel about seeing a doctor about removing it? What do you want to look like? I would like to see me back with the natural butt just to see how my natural body would have ended up looking. So I want to go back. Do you feel like if you remove your butt, the fame and the fans will go away? I actually think that a lot of my followers and supporters, I think they want to see me go through the journey of removing my butt. So I want to take a second to say that I think it's awesome that she's she's educating people about the mistakes that she made. Now, for real talk, I can almost guarantee you there's no operation to fix it. You would literally have to cut off her butt. I'd send her away because I would tell her there's absolutely nothing I can do without causing extreme malformations of the bottom, trying to cut off all the skin and cut out all the silicone. It's, it's impossible. Big mistake. Okay. Our next patient has a very significant problem. Oh, yeah, and it's bigger that can't than... can't be. Oh, look at this. Let's bring Courtney in and figure this out. Please have a seat. Thank you. What's it like to live with a buttock this big? I mean, just on a practical level. Can you use a public restroom? Can you yeah. just use a public toilet? Yeah, she just got to no spread problem. the cheeks, yeah. Do you have... <laughs> <laughs> they ask me those same questions every day. How do I take a bath? How do I wipe? How is love making? Maybe they think I have helpers to help me with everything. <laughs> Do you have trouble walking? Do you... Girl, you want to see me? <laughs> yes, and my booty could talk. You want to hear this guy? Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it. Thank you for seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have injected into your body? The lady who injected me told me that it was hydrogel. I don't know if that was popular uh, when it came to Yeah, me. yeah. Tracks water and gets incorporated into the tissue. That incorporation can have a very significant immunologic reaction and can lead to potential serious disaster. Do you have pain? No, I don't have any pain yet. Okay. But my butt, if you press into it... Are there hard areas? Yes. There are hard areas. It's all those great new ones. Yeah, okay. And so I have discoloration. What are your goals? I want to try to remove them and have a smaller butt. Doc, you might need a drink before we go in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so a couple things that I said at the top of the program here, exactly. She's got these granulomas, which are an autoimmune reaction, trying to reject this material. Number two, this could reach critical mass where her body tries to eject this material, and she may be forced to have to do something because she could eventually get horrific infections. My hunch is he's gonna tell her that there's nothing that he can do. I guarantee you that's what he's gonna say. Why don't you go ahead and feel this one, Paul? It's really oh, under. Yeah. I mean, this is rock hard. Rock hard and at the surface. She's all granuloma. Yeah. Courtney is very lucky and blessed that she hasn't had any complications. Yeah, it's all, there all the way down here. Holy bubble butt, guys. This is bad. This is really, really bad. This is so bad. I can't even tell you how bad this is. And the worst part is that right now, I guarantee you there's nothing we can do for her. And eventually, she is probably going to have some major problems on her hand. Now, there might be someone in the country that will tackle these. There are a few doctors around the country that will. But these that that is going to be, as I told you, 
multiple operations and can be very disfiguring. She made a poor decision and she's got a lot ahead of her. Because the masses are so superficially located, you absolutely can't remove all of them unless you basically amputate the entire the, entire, the whole booty bullshit. the whole booty but i'm not doing that no i'm not doing that the good news is that person didn't seem to inject much of it into the muscle and that's how people die what he's talking about is what's the, been the dreaded discussion with bbls which is called a fat embolism or in this case it would be an embolism of the hydrogel where you inject intramuscular, which is where all the big blood vessels live, that travels back through the blood vessels to your heart and basically causes a heart attack or a pulmonary embolism and you can die. It's very good that you don't have necessarily a functional problem with mm. this. Believe me, I feel really terrible about this. I'm actually gonna lose sleep over this. Normally we have to turn patients away because they've gone to an extreme and now they wanna go further. In Courtney's case, she's learned her lesson and all she wants is her normal body back. Hopefully, we can find a way in the future to figure out an option that will help her that won't be too dangerous. I do have faith that Dr. Debro will find a solution for me, but don't take too long, because I'm trying, I want a regular butt, like a natural booty, like an everyday booty, like one of them nice little booties, you know, I want one of those. It's unfortunate in this situation that I hate to tell her, I don't think you were ever going to have a natural little booty. The decisions that you guys make can be life-changing, so please be careful. Always make sure you look for board-certified plastic surgeons. Do not go to some strange hotel room to get your lips injected, to get your butt injected. Those are with other people who are clearly trying to buck the system and just make money and they do not have your best interest at hand. So guys, take care of yourself. Be safe. Don't do the wrong thing. Always make smart choices. The channel's growing fast. I'm so grateful for all of you guys leaving comments on my shorts and my long form videos. Again, let me know what topics you want to hear and I will make the videos. But for now, Dr. Ricky, out.